Hey there, buddy mycologist. I'm Aaron. I'm Eva. We're just a couple of backyard <laughs> mycologists, and this is Mycology <laughs> for Kids. eBay. <laughs> And today we have a very cool episode because we're talking I'm about either. bioluminescent fungi, aka the glow in the dark mushrooms. Glow in the dark mushrooms. And this particular species is called Penelope Scott. Penelope Scott is one of Evie's favorite music <laughs> artists, but it's a good way to remember it because it's called <laughs> it's Penelis. Penelis. Yeah, Penelis stipticus. And so like this. Like Jack Stepticai. Who is that? It's a YouTuber. Okay, maybe you'll know that person. I certainly don't. I, I barely do. I don't know the name. Okay, so this is Penelis stipticus, which is in a group of um, agarics, which we've talked about before. Do you remember anything about the agarics group? They, they got caps with the gills. Yes, so that's a, the, our group of mostly gilled mushrooms, and they're an even bigger group that we call Basidiomycota bas idio mycota uh what do you remember about basidio mycota bats they got like bat shaped things yes they have the these gills. things called basidia in their gills at the microscopic level that look like little bats that hold on to spores and so there's lots of cool things that we can tell you about this for centuries the glow of mushrooms in the woods was called do you remember um the fox Fire. Fox fire, yes, exactly. And so before we had fancy science words like bioluminescence, they called it fox fire. They would see this weird glow in the woods sometimes from different bioluminescent mushrooms. Which we believe comes from faux fire. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Fake. Yeah, yeah, from, yeah, faux fire. Like F-A-U-X, like not real, like false, like false fire is where we think we got that word. It's not like fox, like the animal, right? And so today we want to show you what this actually looks like when it glows in the dark because it's much different than most people on the internet or most videos on the internet show you where there's really fancy, fancy, very, very brightly glowing mushrooms. This looks quite a bit different. Do you want to show them this up close? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Ow. Take a closer look at this. So this is... You remember what that white stuff on the bottom's called? Mycelium. So you That's can see mycelium. the mycelium, which is that loose stringy stuff, and then the fruit. These are the actual mushrooms. Yeah, those are the fruiting bodies on top, or the mushrooms, that will get bigger and bigger as time goes on. So you want to show them a closer look? Yeah. We're going to take you to our only room in the house with no windows, and we'll, we'll see if it's we can show small. you. It's very small. It'll be very awkward, but yes. Okay. Nice. Let's go check it out. Okay, so here we are in Evie's bathroom, the only uh, the only room in the house with no windows. We've got some cool paintings she's done. My sleeping. Woohoo! Um, and we're gonna zoom in and turn off the lights and see if we can't show you how this glows. Evie, cut the lights off for us. Okay, so when you first turn off the lights. You guys can probably see more than we can. Well, you can. You can see more on the um, on the camera than you can actually in real life because it takes a while for your eyes to to warm up or get used to the dark enough to detect the faint glow. It's horrifying, it's horrifying in here. What do you? What do you? How would you describe that, Evie? What? It, um, it's like a light green, yeah. bluey in real life. Yeah, exactly. In real life, it's a little lighter, more white blue than it is the green that the camera picks up. But you, this is how faint real bioluminescent fungi are. Online, you see all of these like fancy camera tricks where people show how br brightly glowing a lot of these mushrooms are, but most of them are not like that. They're just like this. There's a special little compound and all- I always see them. Yeah, it's very, very faint. And the longer you stay in the dark, the more you see it. But there's a special little compound that's called, you remember? Um, Luciferin. Luciferin. Yeah, there's there's a compound inside the mushrooms that makes them glow, or at least the rare few that actually do glow, called luciferin. We find this in some bacteria and even creatures at the bottom of the ocean, too. Oh, that's horrifying. Yeah, it's very cool. But this is what they actually look like if you see them in real life. It's pretty close, at least. With Yeah, pretty close, without all the fancy camera tricks showing you more. As a review of the coolest little glow in the dark mushrooms ever, these are called Penelopus stipticus. Yeah, Penelopus stipticus. They're in a group called the agarics, which have 
caps with gills. Usually have caps with gills, and then the biggest group that they're in is called Basidiomycota, which means that at the microscopic level, they have little things that hold spores shaped like bats. bats. Now, chances of you running into Pinellas in the woods are not super high. You can find it for sure around the United States, states in, in Europe and other parts of the world, um, but if you really want to get a hold of this, a lot of different people who grow mushrooms online sell Pinella, Pinellas. You can actually look up um, bioluminescent mushrooms and maybe it's a good thing to ask for for your birthday or for Christmas. There is one species. Okay, anyone wants mushrooms for Christmas. Oh, come on. Some people want mushrooms for Christmas. <laughs> you do. Yeah. I some, think that's it. <laughs> some people would like that as a gift. Wouldn't they? So, and they're actually not that expensive to buy. So. There are a couple of bioluminescent mushrooms that you might find, particularly if in your, you're in the um, east coast of the U.S. Do you remember the name of that one? Um, jack o lanterns Yeah, so there, all, there are mushrooms called jack-o-lanterns, which we'll actually probably show you um, next fall, around Halloween time, that you can find that have gills that glow. And uh, if you're in certain places around the world, like Brazil or New Zealand, there's a lot of different species that glow in the dark, but the easiest way for you to see something like this, besides on Mycology for Kids, would be to actually probably go out and, and purchase some. So as always, I'm Erin. I'm Evie. We're just a couple of backyard mycologists, and this is Mycology, mycology for, for kids. kids. Now I have to awkwardly tone it off. Okay.